All right, staying with EPC Volleyball, Nazareth at Easton in a cross-division matchup. The Red Rovers in the Steel Division with the Blue Eagles, part of the six-team Skyline Division. Nazareth, a winner in their only match of the season. Easton 1-1 one one through two contests. Nazareth in the... In their visiting blues, Red Rovers in their home reds. Nazareth goes up 11-6, a kill hero by Katrina Ruggiero. Then moments later, Nazareth will close out game one with some defense forcing the Easton misfire. They would take game one by a final of 25 to 13. On to the second contest, close from the very start, tied at 19, Erica McKee with a kill for the Rovers. They led this one at 20 to 19. Good effort there. Now moving forward, tied at 24, Tiffany Ferreira serving for the Red Rovers. Second ball attack from Brooke Lichty of Nazareth. She gives them that game point. She had 30 assists and five digs. What a night for her. Game point coming up. Another second ball by attack from Lichty. This one will uh, set the uh, game two final at 26 to 24. Game three now all Nazareth up 20 to 13. Some more defense. Kelly Austin the block at the net and then Easton trailing 22-16. Austin with the cross court kill this time. As the Blue Eagles cruising Nicole Finken for Easton trying for a second consecutive ace just wide as Nazareth will go on and win it 25-18. Three games to none afterwards. The Blue Eagles talking about their most recent win focusing on practice on the little things and we've done a lot of like hard work to um, prepare for these matches so I thought we did really well today we uh, got a, all, a lot of the girls in got some lot of a lot of play time I think that in the first set we definitely controlled the game the second set I think we goofed off a little bit and they stepped up to the plate to try and beat us um, and then into the third set we realized our mistake and came back from it Every match is a battle. You know, you can never count a win before it happens. You can never count a loss before it happens. So we just look to go into the gym and, and do our best and control what we can control and uh, do the little things the right way. I'm so excited for the season. I think that we have a really, really like exciting uh, year ahead of us. I think we're going to um, have a lot of intense, intense matches. I'm getting ready to just like continue on and just get a lot better this season. I think we're going to have a really successful year. I was really lucky to come into this program and, and find myself with six talented, um, full of heart seniors um, over there. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm just really lucky because they come in the gym and want to work hard and, and they work hard and they bought in early and we're really trying to do things the right way and, and build a program that is focused on doing the right thing, the small things, the, the, the little things in order to make success happen. Well, the little things are what's going to make those programs better in a league that has two defending state champs, as we talked about, Parkland and Becca. Emmaus always is a powerful program. Central Catholic has had their share of success. It's hard to move up the pecking order. It is hard to move up, <laughs> and we'll see what happens before it's all said and done at the end of the year. When we come back, EPC action.